Anyway, guys, like I told you, Christopher is in the building. So even before we start talking to him, let me remind you of that clip of him that went viral. So let's look at it. Look at it. It's fucking weird here in CBD. I actually got my phone stolen today. I don't know what the fuck what is wrong with that guy, but um, <laughs> I don't know what the, the I, I, you know, Kenya is a fine place, but to be honest, it's really uh, something all. Ninani. There's something weird about Kenya. Like, I got my phone stolen today. This guy thinks. Abana Koegelea, eh? Ninani. What is he doing? Why is he wearing. My people are weird here. I actually got my phone stolen today. What is this guy doing, eh? Let me get away from you. What are you doing here? Abana! Koegelea! Yes, I'm sure you yeah. also that clip. And we have Christopher with us today. Christopher, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. Now, where were you? Pia, Sisi, Tuko, Salama. Me, I have a lot of questions. You have a lot of questions. Oh, okay. Kwanza, I'd introduce Basi. Christopher, introduce yourself. Well, uh, my name is Curious and Crazy. Mm -hmm. You probably just saw me. I was at the protest. If you mm -hmm. saw me there, you mm -hmm. know, I'll be there at the next one. Mm -hmm. Just to film and document, I'm completely unbiased. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm 23 years old, 24 years old now. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in Kenya because my country is dead spiritually. I love Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but I'm a very sinful person. So mm -hmm. do not, you know, <laughs> I'm not a holy pastor. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much me. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I'm a pastor. When I was a pastor. I'm a pastor. Yes, he's planning to be a pastor, but we shall talk about that later. Harry, so, yeah. gonna uliza Yes, ask, ask your question. Well. <laughs> Christopher, can, how much Swahili can you hear? Yeah. Uh, but I would do much better on English. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, uh, was that scripted? It was scripted, but kind of half. I met him in the street. He was mm. sitting and drinking something. I was like, let's make a video. Mm. And he was like, okay, you run and uh, I follow and we figure out the rest. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, so we just, you know, that's why I do the best way. I just invent on the spot. So mm. it was half invented, but of course I wasn't afraid of him. I fear no man other than God, so mm -hmm. I don't fear some man in a swimming costume. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking Abana Koigilea because I knew Koigilea was when I learned Swahili to come down here. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys speak Shang when I was learning Swahili. Mm -hmm. uh, Koigilea is to swim, so I was like, Abana yeah. Koigilea, he had a swimming outfit <laughs> on. I don't want to swim. Why are you chasing me? That was what popped into my mind. Ninani, uh -huh. like, who are you? But I don't know. I'm sure I said a lot of wrong things. So. Yes, there are so many people who are wondering, why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? Does even, it mean? Even the Koi producer Glee is like, oh, yeah. oh. Because you know, we had not seen the full outfit. So yeah. that's why people didn't understand. Ah, he's running in flip-flaps. He's always running in, in uh, flip-flaps. We actually, me, I thought, mm. you you meant, uh, like, I don't come yeah, close. Don't come ah, close. I was trying to say eh, that. Eh, usini uh, karibie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, then, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So you said that we saw you. Yes, we actually saw you at the protest. Yeah. How was that for you? That was incredible. Mm -hmm. The electricity in the air, I've never experienced something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just there to document it, but I remember I was standing, walking around filming, and everybody was kind of nervous. And I was like, what are they nervous about? People were singing, and I thought <laughs> it was a great mood. And suddenly everybody's just running. Mm -hmm. And I start running also, and I hear boom, you know, an explosion. <laughs> I'm like, are they shooting? What is happening? Because I knew nothing. I, my people just told me, don't go there. <laughs> the day before I was sitting at my parents' place, you know, my girlfriend's parents' place, they're like, don't go to the protest. Mm. Immediately I want to go, obviously. <laughs> And I just sit there, I drink some beers at a bar, and I can feel the tear gas in my eyes, and I'm like, I go out, have fun. Mm -hmm. And the electricity, and you know, the amount of, there's something crazy when a lot of people gather around, you can feel the air is thick, like that you can swim quick in mm -hmm. the air, it's so thick of electricity and energy. Mm -hmm. So that was a wild feeling. Like after a protest, you feel like party. Mm -hmm. Did, sure did you people, go party? 
I don't. I'm a Christian. You uh -huh. know? No, I'm, I do. I do not really party. My girlfriend doesn't. But if you have a great party, I, I would, would uh -huh. love to be invited. There was a party in the streets. I don't know if you saw that. My girlfriend said they would go home at five. I was like, I was wondering if I could go back. Uh -huh. There was a party, and, and there was the greatest party ever. I don't know if she just didn't want me to go. So I don't know. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm sure people are wondering where does Christopher? Which ca country did C Christopher come from? Yeah. I come from a little country called Denmark, uh -huh. just beside Sweden. Uh -huh. Beautiful blonde girls mm -hmm. lots of um, immoral behavior and mm -hmm. it's a nice country I like Denmark mm -hmm. in many ways but I wouldn't want my children to grow up in the country mm -hmm. why because there's uh, you know there's many things you can't speak about the people you can't criticize in life I know this mm -hmm. is a fun show mm -hmm. but the people you can't criticize are the people that try to control you mm -hmm. so there's certain people sim 2 they call it you mm -hmm. know that's lots of that mm -hmm. family destruction family is not really good anymore mm -hmm. nobody believes in God you know those things don't work it doesn't take much wisdom to know it, it won't work. Mm -hmm. It's a ship sailing towards the world's end. Yeah. And I'm on this ship because this ship is sailing towards paradise. I mm -hmm. love Kenya. Mm -hmm. You just need Kidogo and Pesa, then it's fine. <laughs> Kidogo and Pesa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See Mingi. Yeah. Kidogo too. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. How how much time did it take you to learn the Swahili that you've learned? You know, uh, just the basic Asante, Karibu. Well, yes, but when I came here, I was like, Nina uh -huh. You know, I was uh -huh. learning Swahili, and then people were speaking English, Shang type mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. and words like uh, Kuba, Bib, you know. So, mm -hmm. so <laughs> they, y I, don't, I haven't learned much Shang, but I've learned a little bit of Kikuyu. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Yeah, when we are Mono Mono, Thank you, Kumaire Tumutaka, Tumutaka. Kaireto Kataka is a beautiful child, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and Lu also, I want to learn some you, Lu, uh -huh. Jaber, yeah, stuff like that. I, yeah. li I like the travel languages. Uh -huh. To be honest, Swahili is an ugly language. Mm -hmm. i got to be honest. Like, if you see a beautiful, or not Swahili, Shang, mm -hmm. you see a beautiful sunset, it's like Niko Smart. Mm -hmm. I think the travel languages are much more beautiful, as yeah. far as opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before you moved to Africa, to Kenya specifically, mm. what are some of the misconceptions you had had mm. before moving to an African country and mm. maybe Kenya specifically? Well, people where I come from, they're so dumb, they just think Africa is like one big country. Mm -hmm. Like Africa, oh, Africa. And that's obviously what draw me to it because people, just the name Africa, people just think, I have to be honest, people think corruption, insanity, starvation, they think people don't have water, mm -hmm. all kinds of insane things, but mm -hmm. it works we wonderfully We don't have here. internet. Yeah, stuff like that, living in the bush, mm -hmm. which is, <laughs> you know, I actually want to go live in the bush, so I think that's the peak of life, you mm -hmm. know, the people that have a great soul, but mm -hmm. nothing materialistic, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they really think lowly of Africa, mm -hmm. you know, but many places in Africa function beautifully. Mm -hmm. There's obviously also some few problems in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why, why Kenya? Why didn't you pick Nigeria, you know, any Western country, mm. South African country, yeah. so in the South, yes? Well, in life, I never plan. Mm -hmm. I'm just the type of guy, even with this interview, I never plan anything. I like just let it happen, whatever happens. And mm -hmm. I think it's just up to God, really. I actually had a dream the day, and I take dreams very seriously. I had a dream the day before going to Kenya. A beam of light came to me and told me that I would die if I went to Kenya. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of nervous, so I went on TikTok and I saw this woman that like predicts future with a crystal ball, you know, mm -hmm. the type of women. <laughs> and I asked her and she was like, you'll die by a snake bite. And I was like, oh, that's exactly how I'll die oh, wow. in the bush. And I'm, I'm still alive. I went, but uh -huh. I actually canceled my ticket and got a ticket to Ghana instead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But then Mary called me and said, you, you, you know, she said some nice words and then I came. <laughs> so I think she wanted me to come and it's fine, I'm alive. Uh -huh. so, yeah. so they tell you you'll die here and that's where you want to run. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Your I girlfriend think it's tells you, don't go to the protest. Yeah. That's why you're curious and crazy. Yes, curiosity killed the cat. Uh -huh. There was an old woman I was talking to here in Kenya for like two months ago. She was like, you know, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, I understand, you know, but... Mm -hmm. You have to f get burnt by the fire to understand that it's warm mm -hmm. first. Eh? So it's a way of finding wisdom in life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Any other question? Zimenda. Zimenda. All right. So, um, so you came to Kenya and started creating content. Mm. Was, that the, was that the plan? Yeah, yeah. I dropped my sales and mm -hmm. I went to do videos and everybody to told mm -hmm. me, you're not going to earn money in that. You're absolutely insane mm -hmm. for doing such a thing. And I was like, yeah. there are the beautiful gift of not being able to listen to other people work there, you know, but mm -hmm. mostly it gives problems. So I went here and mm -hmm. it's working out pretty well. I love Kenya. I'm going to stay here. Absolutely. Yeah. But my visa runs out soon, so I'm going to go to t Tanzania, hang mm -hmm. out, make some videos in Uganda, Tanzania also, and then okay. I'll come back. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, when you go there, you'll come back and tell us 
whether you still want to stay in Kenya mm. or you want to stay in Uganda. Or I hear there's like competition between Tanzanians, Kenyans, Ugandans. Who's the coolest? Yes. We of course we are. Yeah. Who are the coolest? The Kenyans, of we course. Are. Of course. Yes. yes. But you'll tell us. You'll go and then you'll come back yeah, and tell yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you how you cool it is. Yeah, I will. But, yeah. it, but it also depends. Uh -huh. uh, the, the girlfriend, is it? Uh, Kikuyu. She, uh, she's Kenyan. a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yes. she's a Kenyan. Uh, maybe. <laughs> you, you, will, you will still find very beautiful women in Kenya. There yeah. are beautiful women in Uganda and Tanzania, but the yeah. prettiest mm. are in Kenya. Yeah. Anyway, uh, huh, all right. So are you planning to go to the protest on Yeah, Tuesday? yeah, definitely. I'll go and You're document scared of, it. You didn't cry. <laughs> I did cry. And the I was crying and running. I actually got so angry at myself because I noticed how bad my shape was. Uh -huh. I was really <laughs> pissed on camera. The video will be up today. Uh -huh. But I'm like, you know, imagine dying. You're running from a lion and you just were too lazy. <laughs> no, seriously. And then you just, you can't breathe and you just get eaten. Like, that pisses me off. I actually get angry when I talk about it. I'm angry at myself for it. So I'm going to start running, uh, drink less beer. Mm -hmm. I'm relaxing and having too much fun. You know, life is serious. Anytime a uh, zombie apocalypse or something, mm -hmm. you better run. Mm -hmm. You can't just be out of breath. <laughs> I swear I was out of breath. I stopped. I was just taking the tear gas. <laughs> so I couldn't even... If the police caught up with you, you'd have been caught. Yeah, the police and me are friends, you know. <laughs> 100 bob in my pocket. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, yeah. we see. All right, so you talked about being a pastor and, you know, uh, my yeah. team was a bit surprised. So tell them a bit about that and your plans of becoming a pastor. Well, when I reached the wife, wife the old age of a 60-year-old, 50-year-old, 40-year-old man mm -hmm. or something like that, and my hair's fallen off and I have a grey beard, mm -hmm. then I would definitely like to preach under a tree in Akuru, mm -hmm. Mono, Molo maybe, I think mm -hmm. it's called. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to pay or take, what do they call it? The the sadaka. Sadaka, I'm not going to take no sadaka. sadaka. It'll be Tiger. every uh -huh. Sunday uh -huh. at uh, 9 a.m. in uh -huh. the foggy morning with the sun coming up, I'll mm -hmm. be preaching hallelujah mm -hmm. under a tree. Mm -hmm. Because I don't understand why you need the church. We just need a picture of Jesus Christ. I'll hang it on the tree mm -hmm. every morning, mm -hmm. take it with me home, bring mm -hmm. it. And I'll speak there. Mm -hmm. And that's your church. Yes, that will be my church. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I have a few quick fire questions for you. Yeah. And I know you've had um, a few Kenyan experiences. So mm. which one would you prefer? Maya Pasua or Smoky Pasua? Have you had Maya Pasua? I'm sure you've heard of Smoky. Seen, yeah. But not Maya Pasua, not you've the first one. <laughs> an egg. An egg. Oh, yeah. You had my yeah, 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 yeah. So my mm -hmm. eye does egg. Eh? Uh -huh, they all, so yeah. Oh, which sorry. one? It depends uh -huh. on the, the day. The egg actually. or the smoky? The egg with it, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends actually on the day. Because I like, I usually like the smoky one. Mm -hmm. But um, then I got sick and ate it, and now I don't like it more. So I'll take the egg. Mm -hmm. Egg one. But mm -hmm. I love both. Incredible. You can just like 50 bob mm -hmm. and you go. Eh? Have you had Mutura? Mutura? Yes. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Mutura, uh, there's a Kikuyu one. I love it a lot. Uh -huh. It tastes very good. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So which one do you prefer? Ugali with fish or Ugali with beef or with chicken? Ugali with beef mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. Ugali na nyama busi. Mm -hmm. Or Buzi. ngombe. Yes, ngombe. <laughs> uh, cow. <laughs> it's my Swahili pronunciation again. <laughs> I've said so many wise things in life, but the most famous statement is uh -huh. Ivana Koglia. Uh -huh. It's really <laughs> funny, but it shows people, you know, they like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when you get in the shower, which part of the body do you wash the first? Uh, I don't uh, know, actually. <laughs> I wash my hair first. I think I start from the top and uh -huh. then rinse me down, uh -huh. you know. Oh, I, I can't. I don't even know. I'm just in there singing, having my own world. I uh -huh. don't think about it too much. Uh -huh. But I was in the shower this morning, very cold, because uh -huh. the shower is actually too hot for me. Uh -huh. We have heat in the shower, but it's so hot because it's made for Kenyans, <laughs> and you guys are freaking crazy. So hot, the, the amount of heat. <laughs> so I was burning standing there. And I was like, I can't do it. So I turn it on cold, uh -huh. and I stand in the cold, freezing, crying. Yeah. <laughs> crying, but you know, freezing. So I can't even remember. I just remember how cold it was. But they say the cold showers are the best. Yeah, I used and to take healthier. cold showers. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But you know, now I'm getting used to the heat. I don't like the cold anymore. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. okay. I see. Mm. Which part do you concentrate the most on? When, when I wash showering, it, yeah. I wash my hair most. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. You you have beautiful hair. Thank you. Yeah. You have too. Uh huh. Thank yes. you. Mm -hmm. No problem. Um, what was your last Google search? My last Google search. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me look at that. <laughs> Can I do that? <laughs> last Google search is probably very interesting. <laughs> I have no idea. Let me look at it up here. Because I googled the weirdest stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sora Bible verse. Uh, let me see here. <coughs> um. Hey, 
think we need to see people's last Google search. What? <laughs> seeing someone pregnant in dream biblical meaning. What? Yeah, so seeing uh -huh. Angelia, uh -huh. someone pregnant uh -huh. in a dream uh -huh. biblical meaning. Oh, you saw someone pregnant in a dream? It's actually my girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe you're expecting. Uh, Are <coughs> you expecting? Kaire <laughs> Tukataka. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. Is Kaire Tukataka pregnant? Kaire Tukataka means a beautiful uh -huh. girl. Yeah. Yes. And Moire Tukataka is a beautiful woman. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Eh. Yeah, yeah. You, you're teaching us. Mm. Yes. You're teaching you're like us our own language. I offer <laughs> opinions. I will teach Kikuyu $50 uh -huh. an hour. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> no, I only That's know a couple hundred. words. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you rather have a home by the beach or a home in the forest? I think it's so difficult because I love swimming. My mm -hmm. mother always used to call me a samaki. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a very difficult one, probably in the forest, but there had to be a lake I could swim in, mm -hmm. so I could hang out mm -hmm. with the crocodiles in the water. Mm. Crocodiles in the water? In the mm. So I, I believe everybody loves danger, actually, but no. they don't admit it. Uh. No. Yeah, but if your life was crazy boring, there's no excitement, uh -huh. then you would feel so dead. But everybody likes a little... But not like that, you know, always running towards the danger. Mm. Yeah. But you know, if you have a pain in your body uh -huh. and you face, you attack the pain, like, uh -huh. let's go. Uh -huh. The pain is much weaker. And that's yeah. how you do in life. You just attack it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, or else it will find you if you don't find it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So which one do you prefer? By the beach or? The forest. Uh -huh. It was a very difficult uh -huh. choice. My heart is split. Mm -hmm. It really is. <laughs> 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 okay. Do you prefer calling or text texting? Calling, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I don't want to text. takes too long. <laughs> Voice message, <laughs> let me call you. Yeah, like that. I can attest to that. <laughs> what is the most weird uh, Kenyan food or snack that you've had so far? So there's a bone soup. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's called bone soup, mm -hmm. but I had it and I was my girlfriend's father I had mm -hmm. a place there. Mm -hmm. So I had to drink it. And he said something in, in Kikuyu and I said, mm -hmm. and he was actually asking me if I wanted to try the, the soup, soup and uh -huh. I didn't know that. Uh -huh. So I got it and I couldn't drink it. Usually uh -huh. I can, you know, even though if I don't like it, I'll drink it, but I couldn't. And I was like, I can't. And my girl was like, you better drink it, you know? <laughs> and um, so I didn't drink that. It's like a soup. I don't know. It's called bone soup. Do anybody know yes. what I'm speaking soup. about? Yeah, yeah man, that soup. tastes the like food. dead cats. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But I love Kenyan <laughs> food. Kenyan food is amazing. No, uh -huh. really. I love it. I eat ugali all the time, mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. You know, I love Kenyan food. But mm -hmm. that bone soup, just not me. Mm -hmm. Is there anything specific you miss about Denmark? Maybe a food, a drink, somebody? Friend, uh, friends and family maybe, you mm -hmm. know, but I, I expect them to eventually come down here when they see that the predictions are made of the West will absolutely turn true, you know, then they'll come running down here also. Mm -hmm. I'll buy them some land even, you know, <laughs> make buy some flowers when they come. Yeah. So uh, friends and family, I, I love Danish culture, but I'm very flexible. I always traveled my whole life. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a, a normal person and I'm there, there, you know, I'm extremely flexible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. So maybe you can tell people about your YouTube channel yeah. and where they can find your channel and get to see you try more things. Well, the channel is called Curious and Crazy mm -hmm. because curiosity killed the cat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can follow my journey and see what happens. Uh, it's just on YouTube, Curious and Crazy, and I travel around Kenya. I do all kinds of videos. Mm -hmm. And I'll soon do a day in the life of a matatu conductor, you oh, know, swinging out oh. of the bus and day in the life of a kulima. I just think it's fun. Tr I actually enjoy doing these things. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of me filming because most jobs, I don't like them. Mm -hmm. They're boring. You meet up every day. I hate it. I mm -hmm. hate it. Mm -hmm. But here I can do what I love. I actually don't think about views. Just do what I love and I put on the camera so you can join if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Which matatu specifically? Have, has anyone told you which matatu to try? Uh, I know the Super Metro, uh -huh. the big one. <laughs> Super Metro. It's called that? <laughs> Super Metro, okay. Yes. It's a big um, yeah, yeah, company, the big so it flies in All the small ones, I don't know. I just want to hang out of them mm -hmm. while they're Of the, the big ones. Yeah, I, I like yeah. the, when they hang out like, Hey, Mlolongo 50 pop or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> eva, eva, eva. I think that's You fun. should try the Nganyas, you know, the big loud ones with a lot of music. Is that not the Super Metro, the Ganyan. loud ones? Uh, Super Metro is no, Ganyan, no, no, you know. Super Metro, they're, they're the Super Metro is a bit more quiet yeah. mm. for people who do not want loud music, yeah. people who just want... What are you called again? Mm -hmm. Ganya. Ganya. Yes. They are so. pimped out. They are loud. Mm. They have a lot of music, yeah. a lot of screens. Yeah. 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 I'll definitely try something. And there's like lots of young people. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds so good. So try Ganya. Did I'll you go that. to Gikomba? Gikomba? Yes. Mm. Not yet. Not yet. You <laughs> didn't nope. go to Gikomba? 
Well, we talked about that, did we? Or yes. Not? I can't remember. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, the combat at dangerous yeah, place. Yeah, the dangerous place. I haven't places. been there. I went to my thought instead. Uh -huh. The video oh, it just wow. came up. Uh -huh. It actually came into problems because there's a place where if I film there, uh -huh. the, you know, it's where they do certain uh, ac illicit activities. Eh? Uh -huh. And I didn't know, but a guy, he stopped me in the last second, like, brother. And uh -huh. I paid him 100 shillings. He helped me out of there. Mm -hmm. so okay. But don't go to Mathari yourself. It's uh -huh. stupid. That's the stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Mathari was a bad experience. No, I loved the people were incredible. They uh -huh. just want money here and there. But, you know, nice people, nice Ugandans and the people that live there. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, you can go see the video. Mm -hmm. Quite intense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Christopher, thank you so much for your time. No problem. My, pl my pleasure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fine. And